Hello friends. As many of you who like to watch my previous adenium videos know that one of the hybridizing attempts I'm doing is trying to create a hybrid of the rarest adenium species called adenium socotranum, such as this one. Cross it with something else so that the offspring so that the offspring would look as much as possible like adenium socotranum but grow faster because adenium socotranum is terribly slow growing takes many years to start flower well when i cross it with double petal red I did got faster growing with a pronounced veins and leaves such as this, some of which also had the non-branchy tall body structure and some didn't were a little more branchy but none of them had that special color of Adenium socotranum all of them got the dark red of the other parent some more and some less But, which I don't mind at all, because the red is a beautiful color. But I wouldn't mind to also create a hybrid with that unique, even, pale color of a Denium Socotranum. And my second attempt of crossing, a different year because my true adenium socotrans regularly only when grafted on obesum. And also, you can see it here. So on my second attempt of crossing, I crossed adenium socotranum with one whose flowers have these very pronounced nectar veins. And today, one of the offsprings, one of the hybrids from that batch, bloomed for the first time. Let me show you. Here it is, very much looking like the flower of true Adenium socotranum. And the leaves also have somewhat more pronounced veins than non socotranum. And at least so far, the growth is non-branchy, like Socotranum also on this one. I'm not completely sure about color of flower of this one. It's not open, but might be same. And here is a third one from that batch. And this one has a nice branching, inherited some of it from the other parent. So two out of three have a Socotranum body build and one not quite. And minimum one out of three 
Asuka Dhanum flower color and all of them have those pronouns veins more pronounced than non socotranum leaves you see nice veins would these characteristics be then inheritable in f2 generation once i cross one with another or one with itself well I would love to know and once I know I will report can I duplicate this or on some of the offspring at least I have no idea but I will try in order to find out Goodbye, friends, for now. This is all about updating you on the latest of this hybridizing line. Socotranum-like colors of this flower.